He put you in this predicament. You're getting foreclosed in 10 days. Steve, you want to, I see you want to chime in, Steve. Yeah, you remember my story? I do remember your story. I don't know With if you, you? want to, I don't know if you want to share it or not, but. That's all right. Uh, if it helps somebody. And that's what it's all about, reasons. man, is about helping somebody. So. Yes, that's it. So, uh, what was her name? Uh, where'd she go? She. Lisa Marie. Yeah, Lisa Marie. Lisa. Uh, uh, so, are you here in San Antonio? She is. Yes. His name isn't Danny Lada, is it? No. <laughs> Well, <laughs> not calling so people out my, here, man. My, yeah, uh, so, <laughs> me and my my ex girlfriend, um, we had a property, and uh, we we couldn't find the uh, gap funds to cover half of the down payment, uh, which was seventy five thousand. And she found a contractor that said he would go in half with us if he were to JV with us. Uh, we got a hard money loan. He gave us thirty seven. 50 of his money and uh, we put the other half and it took uh, we, we demolished the home and purchase price was 292 ARV was 950 uh, all he did was uh, demolish it uh, got the uh, forms for the slab rebar and the plumbing installed and he wanted more money we had already given him like 40,000 and uh, when he asked for more money we said, well, you got to finish the slab first before we can pull a draw. He got pissed off, took the rebar, and didn't answer anymore. So we ended up getting foreclosed on, but he procrastinated. He kept uh, going to other jobs. It took us a good seven, eight months, I think, before we got foreclosed. Almost a year. Wow. So the point wow. is, the point is, uh, we weren't able to get our money back from, that he took from us. Uh, because he was he JV'd with us, the thirty-seven thousand that he said that was his money, he actually borrowed it from one of these um, companies that lend money to contractors for their materials, and they put a lien on our property. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just be careful. I mean, like just like Mike said, I would just go on your own on you know re refinance and go on your own because. It gets tricky when you partner with the contractor because you can't fire him because he's your partner. Gotcha. Uh -huh. So if I refinance on my own, who do I go to refinance on my own? Like, uh, how do I do? How would I do that? Does, I, I, do I go to another another hard money lender? Another hard money lender, and I can put you in contact with two of them that we use here at the office, and they'll close you within seven days. So you'll okay. be plenty of time to uh, close before the foreclosure date. You just gotta you just gotta act fast, you know. Um, okay. But yeah, I'm glad that Steve. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that Steve yeah. uh, spoke, uh, stepped up to the plate, and shared his story. You know, sometimes it's hard to tell somebody, "Hey, man, that person you work with, you know, it, you're better off on your own." And you know, for I Steve to go through the headaches himself, um, and he lost out on the property. I remember that property it was a good, it was a good neighborhood. It would it would have made really good money if the deal would have went through. And then I don't recall, rec uh, Steve, recall me if I'm correct. Didn't he pour the slab like two feet to the left or two feet to the right? Uh, uh, yes, he was he was off. He <laughs> was, it was he, off. Yeah. He so just the, put the form. He put the forms, but he didn't pour the slab because he wanted more money. Right. So he was off. Uh, and they had to kind of shift the entire slab. It was bad. But uh, sometimes, I mean, well, with you being all the way at the end, Lisa Marie is is probably best to just do this way. And just do it. Just unfortunately, it my own. yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. like Steve, you know, we learned through the lessons of Steve's headaches. And Steve's hassles, so just don't put yourself in that predicament. It would be my two cents, but uh, shoot me a DM after this, Lisa, so, uh, Lisa and we'll get you in contact. 